God, it's cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's freezing. So, I got time to kill. Hey, DG. So, I got time to kill. Like another two hours before my honey comes home. So, I figure. Reply to you. Ooh. Oh damn, it's one night out. What's this? <sighs> what the hell? And I got the air conditioner in the window, so I can't take it out. I'm not strong enough to pull it out the window. So I'm waiting for my husband to come home. And I'm going to ask him to take it out because it's cold and it's raining. So all I can do is turn on the heat and hope for the best. But I can't sit in bed all day. I tried. Like, seriously, I tried. <laughs> mm. So, um, I decided that instead of staying in bed all day, I was going to make a ball gown. And I kept meaning to hit record while I made said ball gown. That way I could show you guys the process I do, like, just to make a quick ball gown. I wonder if that even a thing, a quick ball gown. So, um... I made this one and it's adorable. It's got eight shadow maps and texture and normal maps. <laughs> you know, I went all out just trying to test the theory. Uh, so right now I'm putting roses on it. 
and it's hard really hard for me to put roses on it because i did a rose dress already the one i showed off before and that is my absolute favorite dress but when i looked at it like when i was thinking about the concept behind the ball gown i was like you know i want it to be an embroidered dress with roses pearls on the bodice and uh, maybe a little bit of roses here on the bottom of the dress or right here. Maybe putting roses on the dress, but I figured that would be too much because that's what I did with the last dress. I put roses all around it. And that was a trip. <laughs> um, so I thought, well, what else? I wanted there to be a crowd. <sighs> a crowd and a veil, but... Mm, I'm not sure what kind of hair would go with it. I don't want to make really long hair for this dress and then put a veil on top of it. I think that'd be too much motion. Plus, I got to go in between the hair and make sure that the veil doesn't clip through it. So, it's like, bleh, bleh. Um, I guess this could possibly be a learning experience since people asked before, how do I beat dresses? So I can show you how I beat dresses. Um, I did have a nice pearl texture before, but I seem to have lost it. So other than that, we're just kind of hanging out, really. If there's anything you guys want to talk about or ask about while I'm here, you know, feel free to do so. I'm cold and bored. <laughs> and I ate every snack I had. <laughs> no, not really every snack, but most of my snacks. And I just got them today. But you like I don't know. I'm I'm just super happy because we have an Aldi's around here now. And they deliver. And damn is their yogurt good. <laughs> so I'm like <gasps> I want a yogurt. I want to. Then I made a yogurt, and I was like, you know what? Forget this. I want a parfait. So I made a parfait. Then, like after that, I made. Oh, I had a parfait. I ate the last bit of dinner from last night because it was a res day party. Whew, I'm officially eleven years old in Second Life. I'm old. <laughs> So, um, I had my res day party in real life, ordered out a bunch of stuff, which I totally regret doing now. The food was nasty. <laughs> I had, um, so a while back I ordered off of DoorDash because they sent us a coupon. It's like free $5 off your, your first order. And I'm like, hey, well, why not? So I ordered the food off of uh, Grubhub, and they forgot parts of my order. So here I am sitting here like, well, I tried this Mexican place out. It's supposed to be four burritos. And the burrito didn't come. The whole point of the food was to get a burrito. And that's what they all made, like burritos. And then I ordered said burrito, and it didn't include a burrito. So here I am sitting here like, burritos, burritos, you know, getting all happy. And uh, no burrito. So they gave me the credit for that. So I was like, and they were like, oh, it's going to expire soon. So I was like, all right, might as well use my burrito for money and try something else that's super exotic. So I looked through all 500 restaurants around here that opened that I didn't know about. And I found a Korean restaurant. <laughs> oh, don't get me started about lost food. <laughs> oh, man, I can tell you. We ordered from this one place. It was called Mr. Taco. Because, I don't know, this is like right before I went into the hospital. So I was like, I want a burrito really bad. I don't know why I'm craving burritos. So I look around and there's this place called Mr. Taco. So I ordered from them like $30 in food because I'm I'm like, what's this? What's that? What's this? What's that? So I ordered the whole thing. 
And I'm sitting here, it's like two hours later, and I'm like, where the hell is my food at? So I call the place, and they're like, well, we already sent it out. You you get, got your food. I'm like, no, I didn't. And I'm like, what's your address? So I told them my address, and they're like, oh, Avenue. We went to Street. So they delivered my whole stuff to Street instead of Avenue. So the messed up thing is somebody on Street took my damn order. <laughs> I'm like, would you take a, a mysterious, like, Mexican meal if it was delivered to you? And all my friends was like, hell yeah, I take mysterious Mexican meals. And I ain't got to pay for it. I'm like, oh my God, greedy bastard. So I had to wait for them to deliver, make another uh, batch of the food. Because they're like, oh, we could just give you a refund. I'm like, no, no, bring me my food. I'm hungry. <laughs> so, yeah. So after that, they refused to come back here. I'm like, what? So I called them, like, do y'all not deliver here anymore? Like, deliver anyone? They're like, yeah, we deliver. So I'm calling them, I'm like, why don't you deliver here? It's like, oh, yeah. We don't deliver there no more. I'm like, what? Y'all messed up my food. <laughs> How the hell is my fault? <laughs> so I got issues with those people about my food. So anyway, we decided to try something new. Go Korean. Yay, Korean food. Since... um. At my, my husband's potluck, somebody bought Korean chicken in. And since then, I was like, oh, I got to try this Korean chicken. Too bad there's no Korean restaurants here. Turns out there is a Korean restaurant here. So I go to said Korean restaurant, right? And <laughs> order the food. All of it's gross. It's like the chicken had the right texture but the wrong flavor it was just like crunchy and saucy but the crunch and sauce tastes like nothing and then I ordered this other kind of chicken which I was totally going for the braised beef but I lost rock paper scissors so we had to get the chicken and that tastes even worse it's like mushy and they throw in free kimchi and stuff in there, which I'm like totally a lover of kimchi. And I go to eat it and it's bitter. Like it tastes chemically. So I'm like, this sucks. I should have just stuck with the pizza. <laughs> I think those are way too big. Yeah, let me go in the marketplace. So after that, I'm just going through all the stuff. I went food shopping, so I'm happy about that. Um, let me start on my sister's account. So went food shopping, happy with that. And I got, like, the best yogurt parfait in the world. I can't believe these still cost as much as they do. Damn it. Because I found out that frozen fruit is way cheaper <laughs> than fresh fruit. <laughs> I feel like that's like uh, somebody out there is like a uh, duh, but I didn't know that. Like I thought frozen fruit was like you know, ill like very artificial because I had sh frozen strawberries before, but no other fruit. But frozen raspberries are way better than frozen strawberries. So yeah, I've been like totally buying a bunch. Alright, now is this sear? 
Oh, come on. Everything but what I need. I really don't want to spend 400 linden on a micro sphere. Although, I could just make it. Oh, sure. What about bento extraction? I'm all ears. Except for a minute when I gotta run. I gotta actually go over there. I don't like leaving my sandbox. I'll just take this little sphere here, which I'm hoping is small enough, and then export it. Because I am cheap. No, oh, okay. Alright, I'll wait for your call, I guess, after this. It's too tiny. Still too small. Hang on one sec, I'll be back. I smell something burning. Oh, I'm glad to see that. And I'm even more happy that there are people in there helping each other. Y'all make me so proud. You know what? Forget it. We don't need to have those on there anyway. Huh. 
All right, so now we gotta focus on the jewelry. Now do I have that in place? Hmm. I can't quite decide. Oh, does anybody want to talk on Discord? I don't mind. And you gotta sit here and listen to me chat for the next two hours. Or so. But I'm definitely not sitting here in silence for the next two hours. Uh... Okay, so that's that. This is this. And we're going to look for some jewelry. <sighs> Which I can't think of for the life of me. <laughs> Give you this smug cat face, avoiding someone. <laughs> ah, lame. But I understand. Now let's see. It's times like this where I wish there were still those necklace designer generators that we used to have. I don't know. I can't figure out what kind of necklace I should have with a dress like this. But I feel like the one that I had before won't fit it. But more or less because I already used it before, so I can't use it twice. <sighs> like, when I had thought about it, it made sense. But now, it's like... Hey, was there still anybody around who had that S King body? That body is totally not my bag, but I kind of need money, so I might start making clothes for it. At least now I'm being honest about it. It's a shameless money grab. Has anybody seen EXO? I haven't seen her in a while. Although, I might use this in the back. To be honest, looking at this, it's in a place that really doesn't... Oh yeah, when I bend, it's going to mess up. 
I'm way too awkward to be anywhere near a voice chat party with strangers, free or not. <laughs> Oh, that's serious. What's 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 causing your crisis? Are you stuck? I love that. Oh, oh my gosh, I know exactly what you're talking about. That's how I was when I started taking that, uh, I forgot what this crazy pills are called, Lexapro, but this is a generic Lexapro. <laughs> so once I started taking those, I was like a blank stage, just staring off into the distance. I had no idea what I was feeling. What I was going to do. What I was going to create. And I was like, I'm going to make something. And then I was like, literally sat here for five hours. And then I was like, no, no, what? Never mind. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. That's how I felt. It took me a while because I had to stop taking it for a while. I didn't tell my doctor that because he'll yell at me. So I stopped taking it for a while, like two months. And then I started going crazy again. And then when I started taking it again, that's when I started feeling better. Although I started taking double the dose, like instead of 10 meg, mg, whatever mg is. Instead of 10 of M that, I started taking 20 of it. And that's where it feel like it worked all the way. Like, uh, 10, just a regular one pill. It was like, uh, <laughs> like that was my whole day. Uh, but once I, um, started taking 20, you know, and two pills, everything, it balanced out. Like it worked the way it was supposed to. So now I take two pills instead of one pill. And I'm just, oh, damn, actually, I think I was supposed to take that now. <laughs> I gotta get water. I don't feel like it. I'll, I'll take it later. <sighs> I thought I, I saw a crown in here that I liked, but I'm not sure now. Like, I don't know how drastic I want to go. Or, I mean, dramatic. dramatic. <sighs> what would work for this? Obviously, earrings don't. Because it's... Um, damn it. Anybody know what kind of jewelry would go with this dress? Oof. Oof. That was nice.
Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that advice, huh? That worked only with me. Don't follow my example. Listen to your doctor. I only play a doctor on TV. Listen to the real doctors. Take your medicine the way you're supposed to. I don't think we have that. The more you know sticker anymore. <laughs> well, this is the prime example of what not to do when you take your medicine. <sighs> It's cold and it's rainy and these are like perfect sleeping conditions. I feel like I'm waiting for something now. Like, mm, mm. Oh, that. <laughs> Three headed wolves? I can't say I don't like them. I feel like this might work, but I think I can make it myself with better roses because I like these better than I do those. All right. Oh, damn it.
Why did I think it was gonna be easy like that? No. Sorry, uh, that's not what you said. Oh, I uh, guess I did. What was your question? How did you mess with the scanning or what scanning tracking stuff? What's scanning or tracking? A uh, what? You mean the connects for the uh, motion capture? Yeah. That's the question. I don't even want to talk about that. So, I used the coffee money to buy connects because I watched the tutorial that said you can use the connects 2 for motion capture and it's way better than the connects 1 or the PS 3i system that I had before. That was a bunch of lies. So I watched the guy do the tutorial, and he's like, you need to have a Win 10 computer and a USB 3, um, what is it, a USB 3 hub, a USB stick, USB 3 something, you know, on your computer. So when you plug it into it, it's a USB type um port that's the word port so if not you know you can try look at the community and they have some some sources so I'm like looking into it doing research on it and I'm like okay well I should have it I mean my computer that I had was made within the last five years or so so it should have a USB 3 uh, slot on there I was wrong apparently it doesn't it doesn't have the type of USB 3 that uh, the Kinex like because the Kinex only likes a certain type of USB 3 uh, either Intel or something with an R and I didn't have that one considering I have an AMD board so I didn't have anything Intel on it which sucks because my previous computer before it blew up might have had it because it was an Intel board 
So I didn't really think that was important until I got it and it didn't work. So I had to do some more research on it and I used like all the coffee money plus some money I grabbed from my husband to buy the missing parts that I need because I wasn't going to buy a whole new computer just to do motion capture. After all, I already just bought this one and I've already spent a good chunk of change on it and so my husband was kind of glaring at me like, you don't need another computer. <sighs> so I had to find another solution for it. Um, did the research and they said, don't worry bro, you can just use a USB PCI port and plug it into your PCIe uh, or whatever, your PCIe port and it should give you the same ability without you having to have a, a Intel board. So I'm like, yeah, sweet. So I order one. I order it, I plug it up, and it doesn't work. It doesn't accept it. Turns out that Connects needs a special uh, P. It can't use just any USB 3 PCI card in there. You have to have a specific one that the connects likes and the connects is very picky about what it likes so i go sorting through it and i see ones in there that it cost fifty dollars seventy five dollars a hundred dollars and then there are people who said oh no no don't worry about that use this one it's only uh thirty uh, to thirty dollars you can use this one so i beg my husband for another thirty dollars and he gives it to me so i can try to do this research because i'm really excited and i'm daydreaming about all the cool motion capture we're going to be able to do with this and i'm super happy so i order the card and i wait for it to come plug it in and it's like if you have if you have windows 8 you don't need to use the driver cd it should plug it in automatically so i'm like all right well i got windows 10 on this computer so it should be fine so plug it in, and it doesn't register. Well, it registered for a second, but it didn't quite work. Uh, it came on, and they were like, wait, wait, what happened? It plugged in. It registered the PCI card. I plug in the connects, and the connects doesn't work. So I'm just staring at it like, it's not working. Maybe it's broken. Uh, maybe I need the right drivers. Uh, unfortunately, the power supply that was inside that computer only had one like uh sata power cable inside there you know the flat black one it only had one of those two of those in there one that goes to the hard drive and the other one that went inside the cd drive so i'm like well i don't have any cds so let me just unplug it so I unplug that and i plug it into the card now the card should work i says to myself i says <sighs> I was so wrong. I plugged it in. It registers for a second. I plug the connects into it. And it doesn't work. It's still not working. So I'm like, okay, maybe I need drivers. So I go to the website of the company that made it. The company website is so out of date. It's just got the drivers there for Windows 7. So I try to install it. It says the RAR is corrupt. So I thought maybe it was me. So I go to the other computer and download it. RAR is corrupt. So I, I'm like, maybe I need to get a different type of decompressor. That's 7Z instead of WinRAR. I grab that and then I run it. RAR is corrupt. I'm like, ugh. So I go back to the message board. And I look around to see if anybody else is having the same problems as me. And I messaged one of the guys who posted and recommended that card in the first place. And he says, oh, yeah, no, no big deal. Just update, go to the Intel website and download their generic drivers. So I'm like, okay, taking a note because as I'm doing this, I got to make sure I document everything that I did. That way, when I do the tutorial, I'm able to tell you guys what happened. So I document the stuff and I go and I get the default Intel uh drivers as well as that other one with the r because they said if your intel doesn't install maybe you need the r so i download both of them i try to install both of them it says reset your computer reset the computer turn the computer back on computer does not recognize the hub at all like 
it totally doesn't recognize the chip at all. So I'm just like out the window now. Like I have no options left. So I try to ask him for help and he says, all right, just uninstall the drivers and the default drivers inside the car. It will reinstall on top and everything will be hunky-dory. I follow the instructions and install everything. Don't work. Then he gives me some other drivers. He says, try this. They don't work. It's still not working. So I'm at the point of like, I'm about to get my money back from this stupid thing. So then I'm like, oh, well, why don't you just reinstall your windows? Like, what? Like, because once those drivers are gone, uh, windows won't um, put in the old ones. They just stay with the new ones. So I'm like, oh. Luckily, I had just got this computer. I just put one ten on there, and I didn't have anything on there already, so it wasn't a big deal about resetting it. So I reset Windows. It freezes during the installation. So here I am sitting there for like an hour, staring at it at thirty five percent. Then I take a nap. Because I'm mad. And when I get to that point of mad, a nap is all I can do. So I take a nap and I wake up and I look at the screen and it's still at 35%. So I'm like, oh, damn it. <laughs> so I turned it off. Try to turn the computer back on and they're like, oh, we see you had an error while installing. And we're going to continue on from there. So it goes to 35, 36 and it installs. And then... The windows freezes again at the screen that says, please select your region. It won't let me go beyond, please select your region. <sighs> so someone's like, okay, the problem is apparently your windows corrupted while you were installing it. You're going to have to go onto another computer with a, a USB stick. Uh, and convert that USB stick into a bootable drive for Windows 10. She just goes, how about <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, I didn't notice all this down here. All right, so um, you need to convert a, one, a bootable one for... Windows 10. So I'm like, okay, sure, fine. I didn't do anything on there. So I'm looking around because I had a bootable stick with Windows 7 on there. And that one had all my cracked Windows 7. So I felt bad getting rid of it. But I was like, you know, y'all paid for the coffee that led to this. I can't let you down just because I want to hold on to Windows 7. Besides, I got Windows 7. I can always make another USB stick. No big deal. So, I go a-hunting for the ISO for Windows 7. <laughs> it gets worse! So, I get I go hunting for the, the ISO for Windows 7, uh, Windows 10. Reinstall Windows 10 on there. And everything starts working. As soon as it comes on, it recognizes the, the PCI card. The connects is, like, there. And I'm, like, waiting for it to come on. And it's not coming on. The PS, the connects are still not connected. So I'm like, what the hell do I have to do now? Like, it's recognizing that the card isn't here. What's wrong? So I look down at the cords. And I'm trying to do it. And, and I look around to see if anybody else has done it. And they said, oh, this happened to me when my power adapter wasn't giving the connects enough power. Make sure your connects is plugged in. So I look down. It's not plugged in. So I'm going and I'm plugging it, everything in. I'm unplugging it, plugging it in. The power brick doesn't come on. Everything else comes on, but the damn power brick won't come on. So I'm at the point of tears right now because nothing is working. So I'm fiddling with the cord, trying to do the old twist it this way, twist it that way. Maybe the cord is broken. It's not coming on. So I throw it down like... Ugh, stupid cord and I come over here to even I'm typing into the person like you sold me a broken cord it's not working help me please 
So the lady like instantly replies back. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry, honey. I'll send you another one out there. It'll be there in three to five business days. So I'm like, thank you. So I go back over there and I look at the cord and the cord is lighting up. It lit up after I slammed it on the ground. So I do that and I look at the screen and the connects is lighting up. And it's like, connects is connected. I'm like, oh my God, it's working. I'm so happy. I can finally do the tutorial. So I'm like super happy and I carefully place the connects on top of this giant box so that it's at um, chest height with me so that I can put it on there. Because I had one for the TV, like a, a clamp for the TV, but I have no idea how to plug it in. So um, I put it on the box and I start walking around. But for some reason, my skeleton in real life, is too short for this damn connects to work. So the legs kept noodling all over the place. My upper body was fine, but the legs just kept noodling all over the place. So I wait for my husband to come home because he's taller than me, and he's got all those sweet martial arts moves that I wanted to capture anyway. So he comes in, and he's like grumbling and I just got home from work. Why do I have to start kicking? And I'm like, come on, babe. Pretend it's me. <laughs> and he's like, okay. So he starts doing a basic step, kick, step, pose. All that stuff to, to get it to work. And so I'm testing this out. And I'm like, yes, this is all great. I'm so happy. Uh, we're going to start doing this tutorial this weekend. I'm going to document everything I did. So I got it nice and clean for everybody and tell them how to make it work. And we're going to have a nice, good tutorial ready for them. I come back the next morning and my computer is kind of on its side. The cats had knocked it on the floor. It's glowing orange. Yeah, it's glowing orange, and I go to push the button, and it's staying orange, and it's not coming on, so I'm worried, so I had to turn it off. I turn it back on, and the connects isn't reading. It's not recognizing anything at all, so now it doesn't work again. <laughs> That's where I'm at now. I don't know what to do. And I can't tell my husband that it's broke because he's staring at me like, how much money did you spend on this? And it's not working. Uh, and he's like, you know what? I don't even care. It's okay. It's okay. And I don't like that. When he says that, it's okay. No, 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 no. no. The cats were... There, it was that time of the night. Yeah, it worked once and then never again. And so now I don't know if I need another PCI card. Maybe try the expensive one to see if that works and plug it in. Or do I have to just buy another one? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I, I don't know what is going on with it. And then there are people who say, oh, well, you could just buy a computer that works with it. Here it is. I got a, a Dell Surface or something like that, and it works instantly. And I'm like, oh, bro, that computer is $300. <laughs> By the way, your L bounce is driving me nuts. Don't make me send you L. Oh, uh, let me see. Let me find Trebin uh, 64. There we go. It. <laughs> so that's what happened with the connects. I'm sorry. I hope you don't think I wasted your kind. At least you got a refund. I did and I got a connects. That I don't even know if it works because I bought it used. Hang on one second. I'll be right back.
So yeah, I bought this Connects used, so I can't return it. And I don't know if if it. Well, I got a new um. What did you call it? Adapter. The lady was kind enough to send me a new one. And people said the one that I have works, but it's not the same one that the person used in the tutorial. Yes, yes. <sighs> like the one I saw in the tutorial is different and it costs like forty, fifty dollars by itself. So I was like Uh bro, I don't know. Ah! Sorry, spider. Then there's this guy on eBay, and he's like, I sell motion capture connects with the the cords, everything you need to just start motion capture, and it's only $75, and I'm like, I kind of wish that I would have saw that first before I spent the money on buying the connect separate and the cord. Because now it's like I spent $35 on the Kinex, $25 on the cord, um, $8 for one PCI port, and then $20 for another PCI port. That, that was a lot of money. <laughs> and then to go and have it not work, and then needing to spend an additional like $75 for another connects and cord just to test and see if what I did was wrong or maybe I had the wrong cords or something like that it's it's just like uh so I feel bad about it but I'm kind of broke right now cuz then I just had to pay off a bunch of back bills yeah so, I hope you forgive me for not conducting a good experiment with the money that y'all donated. But I did go through some stuff. So, if there's any pun, like, I hope my punishment, <laughs> what I had to go through was punishment enough for not being able to fulfill my end of it. <sighs> it's just gonna fit slightly. But I'm glad to hear that somebody else had the same experience. Oh. At least on the plus side, I still got that old Kinex 1, and we got the IP soft thing. I was really hoping that we can use, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think here. My brain is dead trying to retell that story. <laughs> uh, well, I still have a bunch of PS3Is, and... I still have one connects. I had two connects, but one got broken during a move. So we can still try to do motion capture with one connects, but for best uh, results, we need two connects. So I don't know. Um, I guess with the next wave of donations that I save up, I'll just buy another connect like connects one and we can use ipisoft which you can use across all of the um uh what's it called you can use it on windows 7 and up instead of exclusively having to be on 
win 10. It's just a little bit more work. Eh, it's not really. Like, when you when you look at it, when you first do it with, well, with iPi, I don't know if it's IPsoft or IPiSoft or IPiSoft, Ippy. <laughs> um, so, with, with that program, it looks scary at first, but all you need is two connects. Two connect adapters. Well, let me say it again. Two connect version ones. Two connect version one adapters, and some construction paper. You know, car cardboard. It's like a you know the big sheet of white construction paper you get from poster board. You get from the dollar store. Yeah, you need one of those to calibrate it. The one that they had with, what is that called? Damn. Ugh, I can't remember what it's called. The, the PS3 eyes, you need like five, four to three, to, three to eight of them. A flashlight, a, a pin, like it's a pin flashlight that's super bright. Um, a lot of space <laughs> and two people. It's, but at least the Kinex one is more friendlier than the other one. So I think I might just try to do that once I get more. It's not, it's not that bad. It's that <laughs> well, all you need is, all right, basically all you need is two Kinex's. Two adapters to plug the connects into your computer, and some car <laughs> and some uh, poster board, and you're done. That's it. <laughs> the The PlayStation one is far more complex, but it's like it's complex because it's more accurate. And they were like with the um, six eyes, you can get two people in and a hundred percent accuracy whereas the connects one likes to drop frames i did some animation with it back in the day uh but i really wish that you know i wasn't suspended on that account wasn't suspended right now then i could show you I don't know what photo scan is. It's like, don't think you're going to be doing some advanced dancing or anything. If you do want to do that, you got to do it in segments. Cause I tried doing a whole dance routine and it was just like that car noodling, you know, the, the thing that advertises free stuff when I did all of that. But if it's something simple, like, uh, which one was successful when I cast the spell, like put my arm up and cast down like the loop. Have you ever played? Yeah, but there are torrents. <laughs> if you play Final Fantasy X, I did Lulu's casting pose where she puts her arm up and she strikes it the magic down. And that one came out fine. But when I tried to do Milo Mart's dance, uh, that one didn't work out so well. But that could also be because I had too much butt. Because every time I went to go swing back... The avatar would just swoop all the way to the right. <laughs> so you got to keep your actions kind of like simple and not too goofy. Plus with that one, you can track hands and heads, but you need a PlayStation Move in order to do that. Which I bought. 
for the sake of the tutorial, only for uh, it to fail. Don't worry, I mean, sooner or later, I'm going to get you guys a motion capture tutorial. It's probably going to come sometime next year, though, when um after I finish paying off all these old bills. Because that's kind of the thing that my husband keeps glaring about, like, we got to pay those bills, bills. And I'm like, fine, fine. But let me just buy one more cable. And he just glares at me. <laughs> so, if anything, you know, like by the end of the year, hopefully, we should be in a good place with my, like, bill money. And I can start doing tutorials for y'all. Um, you know, getting stuff. Yeah, once Bento came out, people were just like, fuck it, I'm done. Oops, sorry, I forgot. I had to stop cursing. That's one thing I need to work on. No swearing, zero. Yeah, this, Microsoft discontinued Connects because they were like, nobody was developing for it. And it's like, we want to develop for it. But, you know, you need a, a super Microsoft computer. And not everybody has that. Oh yeah, I like uh, Suvior. I love their animations, but damn, are they expensive. <laughs> I'm like, <"Duh." laughs> doesn't anybody want to buy me one so we can, uh, you know, examine it for, for science? <laughs> Oh yeah, I seen that folder. I'm not good at retargeting right. I still need to practice. Animation is not quite my game yet. I mean, I understand the basic properties of animating and stuff like that. And I got theories on how it works. But I'm still a noob at it. I mean, I got really good at motion tracing, but, whoo, that takes forever. You saw it took, like, an hour or so for me to motion trace that 30-second, uh, what's it called, Mortal Kombat animation I wanted with Melina. Although maybe I should stop this and go do that. Spend some time making <laughs> motion capture thingies. 
Why be better than watching me do this? I think I like it, but I feel like this necklace is too simple. It's just a simple old collar. Oh, snap. I got it. I'm going to get swanky black pearl. Yeah, I don't know why they don't let people post links through this. I tried to allow the privacy settings to do, like, down, but it's like, nope, they still can't post post, post links. Oh, thank you, please. Turn all this junk into mesh. Well, you can always post it in a Discord.
Don't you give me your love infection. Oh, wait. I forgot. It's not the lyric. <laughs> copy by in my own stuff somebody file a report let me know that I am stealing I don't remember what I had to do though what was I doing Alright, so once I have my dress inside here, I just delete it and I have all left over as the accents. And then as I have all these accents, I just rig it to the dress. Although these need to be on their own separate layer because they are on my head area and the bottom ones are for my chest. So I'm just going to grab these, press control Z, put it back, fine, put it back, and then press M and move it somewhere else. Okay, that ain't work. Okay. Now we just attach... Oh, hey, if um, y'all don't know, the new Cas the Castlevania's out. That's what I'm going to say. Castlevania on Netflix. Season 2 is now out. If you ain't watch it, I suggest you watch. It's pretty good. I'm a little sad that Grant Gent is not in it. But it's like, uh, no nasty. No, Mr. The Nasty. <laughs> hmm? It sucks it's lagging so much. It's because these flowers got heavy when I exported them. One of the joys of doing the stuff in the world. Wait, I need that.
want to copy the weights from the bodice to the flowers. <laughs> I understand. I have to... Like, I really do want to see what Naruto is all about. But I wanted to watch it from the beginning all the way through. And then when I heard that it ended, I was excited. I thought maybe I could finally start watching Naruto and catch up with its popularity. Because I remember like when I was in high school, it was super popular. You saw kids in those orange and blue jackets all the time. And uh, sneaking in there with the Atsuki cloaks and stuff like that. Only to get yelled at because that goes against school, whatever, and other because we're not allowed to have trench coats and whatever. So, anyway, I've been I always wanted to watch it, but I hate it ongoing shows. I never really got it down with it. And then I hear that it's over and I can finally start watching it, and then they come out one about a son. So I'm like, ugh, now I gotta wait all over again <laughs> for Baruto to end. Although I did sneak and start watching a few episodes of Boruto, though. Those characters are cute. Avastar is like, are you out of your mind? Do you see how heavy this is? And I wait for Blender to completely die for those roses. I should have probably separated them by loose parts before I imported them out. I think that might have worked out better. Nature, <sighs> bitch. I hope y'all getting ready for study hall this Sunday. Getting all your questions and all that jazz ready. Whoa, 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 wait. <laughs> Coming to America's my favorite movie. <laughs> they have the go and arches. We have the goat and arch. <laughs> they have the Big Mac. We have the Big Mac. <laughs> Salt, pepper, ketchup, special sauce on a sesame seed bun. The only difference is our buns have no seeds. <laughs> All right, let's see. When um my mom got, well, when she was about to get remarried, 
one of the guys at church was going to sing that song. You know, she's your queen. <laughs> so when it didn't happen, we kind of shifted over that when I get married, um, one of the guys going to sing that at my wedding. <laughs> Only because it's a family full of idiots. <laughs> OMG, God, I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> that was like the one wedding demand that I absolutely had. I was like, somebody's got to sing that song. <laughs> Yep, I crashed Blender. guy at church sings it exactly like the guy in the movie like you would think it was him but skinny <laughs> so he was like oh I'll be so I'm totally down to sing that at your wedding if you want <laughs> If y'all don't know about that um, Coming to America song, then you totally got to see it. That is hilarious. 
Oh, Firefox. I'm crashing. Damn, deaf roses. Let me see if I can get back. No, I guess this isn't helping any. Hmm. Probably would have helped if I spelled decorate right. Decorate. Jeez, that took forever. No. All right. Hi. Those roses are struggling, but they're going to go through, I think. This battle, this is like unnecessary stress with this battle music going in the background. I'm like, is it going to go? Is it going to go? Just blinked. Come on. Yay, there we go. Of course.
Oh, no. After all of that. That, my friends, is butt, don't you think? <sighs> Let's see. This is the Joy of Sparkles. Had I ran this check before I export it, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have had those problems that I have now. Um, so, anybody got any new jams or watching anything new or working on anything? I'm sorry, I'm not really good at small talk. I'm excited about how this dress is coming out. I just wish that uh, it wasn't so heavy. Of course, that is my own fault for taking shortcuts. If I would have joined them all at a bit, they wouldn't be like this. But because I put everything together, well, you see it. It's freezing up a storm. <laughs> hmm. You mean you want me to rig that baby for you? I don't mind helping you with it. Except for I can't help you now. October's my off month. I get back in the groove about November 5th or so. So does come with regular tutorials inside these random lives. I'm sure you guys are getting tired of hanging out with me at random times instead of getting some solid information. Sorry about that.
I'll try my best, but no promises it's going to come out good. <laughs> yeah, Will is a tricky little bastard. I really can't believe how cold it is now. Like, it feels like just last week we were complaining about how hot it was. Now look at it. Oh yeah, I started playing this new game called... Uh, the Witch and Hundred Night. It was on sale in the play the PlayStation Market, so like two games for like twenty nine dollars. I know exactly what's up with that. He may have to dig in there and delete some more vertex groups. Pay whatever you think is fair for rigging the, a, your kid. Jeez, I should have decimated it first before I did this. Hmm? 
Oh, no, that's me. I wish that I had a way to know if Blender is actually working or did it freeze. Let's just assume it froze. Take two.
Oh. Okay, is the shirt not applying? Oh, oh, sorry. Guess it came over. There's a lot of stuff to happen. <laughs> it's within the night sobbing a whole lot of How excellent. I was trying to make a simple tube top applier for putting under shirts and have spent the last six hours trying to get the boobs right. The UV makes no sense there. Am I missing something? What body are you using? The Matreya. Oh, thank you. Ugh. And using Woods UVs. I do not see it really different for no. To sure enough. Bruh. It does, but it goes all lumpy. Glad there's somebody in there helping them with that. I have no idea what y'all talking about. Hey! Mandrill. Mandir? Mandrill? Mandrill? Mandrill Daniel? I think. <laughs> Either way. Hello. Come on, Sava. Okay, cool. Mm. Just Dre is good. Oh, okay. I love Dre. Come on, Safa. So Oh, okay. You're the one that had the problem with the, the, the shirt. Um. Fred, I forgot. The problem with your shirt is that it may have too many bone groups in your vertex group section. So you may have to go inside your vertex groups and delete stuff that's not being used. Sometimes if your shirt is long enough, it may clip on to like the groin or you might get a very teeny tiny bit of wing weight that has no bearing on the garment whatsoever. But because it has a tiny little bit of it on there, it let it stay on there as a group. So you'll have to go in there and look and see what you need and what you don't need and then Press the minus button and erase a few. And then once that happens, you can just put it on. It should light up if you did everything like that. Yeah, it's a pain in the butt sometimes. I don't understand why Bento stuff does that. Like when you try to make a shirt, it'll say you got hind legs or hind leg root or tail root or groin for some reason and it's just a little bit like zero 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 dot one bit of weight on there so the remove unused vertex script doesn't um, keeps it because it's like oh hey there's a tiny bit of weight here we're not going to remove it so you may want to check that out if the shirt is boneless then it's not going to come in world because it's boneless Well, check again. Double check. Or you can send me the you can send me the blend real quick and I can look at it.
Also, Exo Saint, where have you been? It's been days since I've seen your bony butt. <gasps> no! Shana Lays. You should always stick with it. Modeling is fun. Where can I have that gown? Oh. Oh, as soon as my friend finishes that HUD, <laughs> then I can release it in this dress. What, how I made the ball gown? I did. It's like an hour-long tutorial on how to make ball gowns. It's like ball gown boot camp. But I can show you how to make this one. This was a simple one. Like, I was laying there, and then I woke up, and I was like, I want to make a ball gown today. And then I was like, T -t 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 done. Yeah, that explains it. <laughs> I grew. Oh yeah, I forgot you said you were sick. My poor XO. You feeling any better? I'm going to cheat on this one. I don't feel like, I don't feel like rigging it. So I'm going to go old school and just put it on an attachment point. Yeah, it totally can get overwhelming. And there are going to be times where you just want to cry and close it forever. But if you stick with it, it's like, I can't believe I was going to give all this up. Because it's so much fun. Oh, the honey has called. Hey, honey. I'm streaming live at the moment. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Honey? Yes? Okay. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Currently outside getting sick. It's raining something fierce down here, too. And it's cold. And the stupid AC is still on the window, so I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to Run, baby. That's what you get. I told you about parking all the way in the back of places. Well, I don't have to fight for parking back there. Revenge. <laughs> when we go to the store, right, and the Walmart. He parks all the way in the beginning, like the entrance of the Walmart, and the far away from the store, where it's like a two-mile walk. And then he's like briskly jogging into the store, and I'm like, oh my god, baby, stop. Give me the cart. I'm not going to make it. And he's like, it's just right here. What is this, like two steps? Like the very first parking lot near the exit of the store. <laughs> so Technically, right like the across the street. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get. Hope you get wet. Ever. Where the hell's that park? 
I saw you in my car. I saw you in my car. I saw you in my car down here. And <laughs> How do I get a 2D image in Photoshop? It's extremely hard to texture the 3D one. It's oh, a lot of questions. All right, Shook. I will see you um in a bit. I'll call you back. But I just gotta ask you: Do you want to go to Wawa tonight? Uh, sure. Or is it too rainy? Because I can cook. Huh? No, I can get gas, so I guess so. I would, that's why I was asking. Like, did you want anything from there before I cook? Because if I cook and you go to Wawa, I'm going to be very upset. <laughs> um, I'll go to Wawa. If you want anything from there. Uh, turkey hoagie. Okay. All right, see you later. I love you, baby. Mwah. Mwah. Okay, sorry y'all had to hear all that lovey dovey stuff. <laughs> all right, but to answer your questions earlier, um, no, the avatar isn't on the marketplace. It was on the marketplace, but then my friend realized a bunch of stuff about it that I was hoping that nobody would. Hey, Jen, what's up? Like, oh, the arm is bending weird, and... The legs are bending weird. So then I had to take it off the marketplace and fix it. And when I was fixing it, he's like, he can fix the, um, what do you call that dang thing? Uh, something he said he could fix. He wanted to redesign the HUD because he said that the HUD, um, was all over the place. Because you know how my avatar HUDs are terrible. So he decided that he's going to upgrade the system so that we can have a better avatar system to give out for free so yay so it started out as an alpha hud then he's like he's gonna make a better texture hud and have it all on one and then a texture color hud and then the eye hud all of these huds can be joined into one giant hud like professional or designer body people and so i'm trying to wait for that to get finished so I can put it on the body. But while he was working on that, I started noticing other things on the body too. Like, for example, my um, my butt. My butt had chest weights on it. So whenever you turned your chest, your butt would, my butt would swing in the direction <laughs> of my chest. And so I had to take it off, re-rig it, reposition the bones. And um, that's what we have right now is this avatar that's fixed with no butt swinging. So right now it's all waiting for him to get done the HUD. And uh, once he's done the HUD, then I can re-release the avatar out to all of you. Hopefully it'll be out before Christmas. Sorry, my HUDs are terrible because I can't script. So I was just Frankensteining scripts together in order to make a HUD. But in the process of doing that, it made like several HUDs. You had one for the eyes, one for the alpha segments, one for alpha uh, the, the, the chunks. It, 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 was, it was a bad HUD. And even I didn't want to admit how bad it was. I'm like, it's still good. It's still good. And he's like, honey, no, it's butt. And I'm like, I know, I know. So he's redesigning the whole thing and making a more professional HUD that we can all use as templates for our creations from now on. So no more 20 HUDs for one thing. It's all can be on one HUD. So that's pretty much what we waiting for. So in the process, I'm sitting here making ball gowns because... Well, when you're bored, what else do you make? Well, I guess cookies. Damn, I should have ordered some cookie dough. Oh, well, ball gowns <laughs> are more efficient. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, uh, right. Hang on, I'll turn it off.
There we go. No more death of you. So I gotta texture this and put my necklace on. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to buy a crown to go with this. And color in these balls and make them like, I don't know what color pearls you should be. Maybe black? But once it's done, I can probably put it on other bodies too. <laughs> no problem. Sorry about killing you. We can put these on other heads as well. Like other bodies. So once it's done, I'll see what other dev kit I can whip out and then slap a ball gown on. Is there anybody I, like particular that you would like to see this on? Oh, just out of spite, the material one's going to be way more expensive than everybody else's. Only because I don't like it. Years of practice and half acid. That's all it is. But if you want to learn, I'll be happy to show you. I mean, I got time now that my, I called my husband. And I'm not really doing anything until he gets in. I mean, if you want, I don't mind make it doing a midnight ball gown tutorial. I just got to get some water first and then I'll be all ready. So I'll be right back. Uh, let me go get some water and freshen up a bit. And when I come back, we'll have a midnight ball gown tutorial. 
<laughs> All right, be right Water container. with you I personally don't use it but and I don't like it but it's that time of the year when I need to start making um shameless money grabs <laughs> and the matray is a good place to do that considering I don't see many ball gowns in there especially ones that look like this so let me find my necklace. I had a necklace. I think it might be over here. Nope. Hmm. I do feel kind of shameful constantly asking y'all for donations. Although I do appreciate them. I still feel weird asking for them. So, I need to start going out there and shamelessly making that month. Okay, now I need to find my little crown.
At the all in it, I don't even think I want to use it. You know what always gets me though is they're like, <clears throat> don't give your mesh to an alt. If I, you know, don't give your mesh to an alt. I will hit you with a DMCA if I find out that an avatar who didn't buy it from me. And it's like, I really do hate when people try to use fear. Like, you wouldn't really know. And as expensive as DMCAs are, you're really going to waste it on something like a $2 crown. <sighs> Let's see. You know what? Fuck second life. Let's go. Let's go to classier places. <laughs> We're going to Deviant Art. <laughs> Sell it from pretty pink color. That's funny. Probably got it off of here anyway. Fake wings. Fake wings. All right, I was curious if those updated.
name tag. Yeah, you're not allowed to wear gold and silver at the same time. That's just tacky. <sighs> so... Yeah, but silver doesn't look quite right. <sighs> oh. Question. Why does when I make parts in Marvel Designer and it ends up on the floor? Because I'm assuming you're using something other than Marvel Designer 2. And in the newer Marvel Designers, they have one of the coordinates up wrong. So, whatever's up, I suggest turn that negative and see if that helps slap your stuff back into place. Actually, you know what? Let me see. No, that's just ridiculous. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe your sides are, your up is wrong. Yeah, I'm sorry. Got to save that for study hall. Can't be doing study hall on non-study hall days. Then what would be the point of study hall? I have no idea how to tint this crown. Yeah, but she's got silver danglies. So that would make it taboo. You're not supposed to wear gold and silver jewelry together. Yay, happy Saturday. Happy rainy Saturday. Oh. 
Oh, is it? All right, then. Never mind then. It's totally outdated. Now I feel like I need a little rose crown, like a spear, a scepter, or something. <laughs> but. Come back on Sunday with it. If you haven't figured it out by then. And then I'll take a look at it then. Right now it's all ball gowns. Ball gowns, ball gowns, ball gowns. I did. It didn't look right. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'm going to end this stream. I'm going to end this stream, and I'm going to start another one, and that's going to be the late night ball gown tutorial. Although I shouldn't really save that for a proper tutorial. Yeah. But. <laughs> hey, wait. Uh. Uh, Mandrill, I'm sorry, Dre. If you want, we can do the t um. If you're free on Sunday, we can do the ball gown tutorial then because I gotta fill time in study hall. So we can just look, start off right off the bat doing a ball gown tutorial rather than me rushing through one in the middle of the night. <laughs> Is that cool with you? Oh my god, that's so cute. I'm kind of sleepy. Yeah, it's rainy, it's cold, and um, the heater is just starting to get warm. I think it would make more sense to save a ball gown tutorial for study hall. Then, you know, y'all can ask questions as we go through it. And it's not like, I'm going to rush this out real quick and skip over stuff. And, and that's what's in the middle of the night. <laughs> Bro, am I not adorable? All right, so I guess it's set. Like tomorrow, uh, Sunday, five p.m. EST through ten p.m. EST. Yeah, every Sunday at five to ten. That's when I ask every when if you got a question or a problem that you have and you can throw it my way and then I can fix it. Or if you want me to do a tutorial on something, then I do it then. Uh, last time, at the very last minute, somebody who shall not be named EXO asked if we can do a sneaker tutorial, a shoe tutorial. And we ended up making those golden banana crocs <laughs> of sadness. <laughs>
Yeah. All right, we'll wait for it around then, then, since it was your request. <laughs> and the worst thing is my friend was walking around with them on like, these are awesome shoes. And then he gave it, a, he gave it to his friend, and she's walking around with it. So basically that whole, what is it, something elephant tutorial sim we're wearing cross ah, socks and crocs oh, that hurt my soul stop <laughs> well you can join the discord and i'll turn the mic on and everybody can talk about it if they want God, those Crocs. I can't believe everybody was wearing those stupid things. <laughs> it's like, burn those Crocs. Burn them. Like, no, these are gold and banana Crocs. I've been waiting all my second life to have gold and banana Crocs. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, what what were they? Hang on, let me see if I could. Right there. There they go. The golden banana crack. All right, I'll see you guys that uh, later. Burn these shoes first. I know I got a fireplace in here somewhere. Uh huh. Wait, I don't think that fireplace is a flame. Damn. Somebody give me a flame for my fireplace so I can burn these damn Crocs. Eh, there. We'll burn those later. <laughs> God, so dumb. All right, all right. My face starting to hurt. Let's see you later. Have a good night. See y'all at study hall or possibly tomorrow when I feel random. I don't know how I'm feeling. It's those pills, man. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.